Hi there, let's evaluate the indefinite integral of sine squared of x. Do you know any function whose derivative is sine squared? Can't say I do, so this one might be a little difficult. But in fact, the integration itself here is pretty easy. What makes this kind of difficult is the trig identities you need to know in order to do it. Sine squared all alone, that doesn't look so good, but we can turn it into something that's not so bad if we remember our identities. Your mind might first go to the classic Pythagorean identity, that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. But of course, if we replace sine squared with 1 minus cosine squared, we'll pretty much be in the same situation just with cosine squared instead of sine squared, and that doesn't really seem any easier. We will need this identity, but all on its own, it's not that useful. There is, however, another identity that involves sine squared, and that's the double angle identity. Now, if we combine that with the Pythagorean identity, we'll see something really cool happen. Here it is, all written out, and I trust that you can follow it without too much difficulty. The first line is the double angle identity. Cosine of 2 times x is cosine squared x minus sine squared x. We see we've got that sine squared, so that's why we might investigate it for this particular problem. Now, cosine squared by the Pythagorean identity, like we were just saying, is 1 minus sine squared. So we could take that, 1 minus sine squared, and substitute it back into the equation from the double angle identity. Then cosine of 2x would equal 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared. And that, of course, is 1 minus two copies of sine squared. Then we've got cosine of 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared, we want to solve it for sine squared because that's the thing that we've actually got to integrate. And if we solve it for sine squared, that leaves us with sine squared of x equals 1 half minus cosine of 2x divided by 2. So now we don't have any power other than 1, and that's fantastic. Here in this last step, just to make sure you follow, we added 2 sine squared x to both sides, then subtracted cosine 2x from both sides, and then divided that factor of 2, leaving us with 1 half minus cosine 2x over 2. Then we make the substitution. Integral of sine squared x is the integral of 1 half minus cosine of 2x over 2. Might as well go ahead and take out a factor of 1 half, just so things look a little cleaner inside the integral. So this is 1 half the integral of 1 minus cosine of 2x dx. And it's smooth sailing from here. Let's make sure we get that factor of 1 half and do the integration. What's the integral of 1? That's just power rule. That's going to give us x and then minus the integral of cosine of 2x. And what's that? Well, this can be taken care of easily with a u substitution, but it's the sort of really basic u substitution that you should be able to do by just kind of thinking through it. What function is going to give us a derivative of cosine? Well, that's going to be sine, of course, so we're going to need sine of 2x. The derivative of sine of 2x gives us cosine of 2x, but then it also gives us a factor of 2 because of the chain rule, and we need to get rid of that. So we just have to divide this by 2. If we take the derivative of sine of 2x over 2, we'll get cosine of 2x, and then the factor of 2 will cancel out with the 2 in the denominator. And so that is our answer. We of course need to add our arbitrary constant and then we should distribute the one half through the brackets leaving us with x over 2 minus 1 fourth sine of 2x plus the arbitrary constant c and that's our answer. 
And that's how you show the integral of sine squared of x is x over 2 minus a fourth sine of 2x plus c. As you can see, it's actually a pretty easy integral. The simplicity is just disguised by the layers of trig identities that are needed to get rid of that troublesome power of 2. But once we take care of that, it's easy. Hope that helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or integral requests. Scaling the stratosphere